Egypt has long been the strongest ally to Libya's Tobruk-based government. It's provided military support and training and launched airstrikes to back up Tobruk's struggling forces. The Egyptian government seems willing to do so again, but Cairo wants the United Nations to take the lead. We call the Security Council Special Committee, which is considering military support to the legitimate government, to take a decision quicker in that regard. It's unfortunate that we did notice the committee moving quickly to meet the urgent needs of the government and the National Libyan Army. This could lead to neglecting Security Council resolutions. ISIL has taken advantage of the chaos in Libya to gain a foothold. There is growing evidence that ISIL is spreading its influence into Egypt. The UN is trying to broker a political deal between the government in Tobruk and a rival administration in Tripoli, known as the National Libya Conference. But Libya's foreign minister is not optimistic. We hope to take quick steps to form the government and move forward. This week, we are looking into nominations for the prime minister and his deputy. But there are many obstacles. The National Libya Conference is stalling. It didn't attend the last meetings except in Geneva. This worries us in Libya, the delay to reach a national unity government. On Tuesday, Libya asked the Arab League to join the fight against ISIL. The organization showed support but couldn't commit without UN approval. Egypt believes the expansions the Islamic State gained in Libya lately must be countered and it's calling the world to interfere immediately. But the international community is still debating military support to the internationally recognized government. Meanwhile, airstrikes have been targeting the Islamic State inside Libya, signaling that someone cannot wait. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.